have some more of this full sail pale ale. That is a damn fine beer. Just letting you know. Christ, it even matches the uh, painting. Look at that. I'm using some of their colors here. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's just by sheer accident. But yeah, look at that. Mm. Mm. Good stuff. As you can see, uh, I've made some progress on this painting. I popped it in this crane, and in this case, what it is, it's called a sandhill crane. It's a type of bird that flies in and out of here, uh, the Columbia River and the Willamette, the Portland area. Uh, we also have what we call uh, the great uh, blue heron, which is a gorgeous bird, and I actually even have one of them that flies over the house on a regular basis, going into some wetlands that are around here. And, you know, they're just kind of gorgeous. One thing about... Uh, popping in a bird like this, it, it provides your painting with some motion going on here and also gives me an opportunity to, to work on a reflection into the water here and it gives it a whole new type of feel. Uh, but that's why I'm going here. And one thing you must keep in mind with a bird, even though a crane, which is a large bird, okay, it is the 747 of birds. I mean, these things look mammoth when they fly over, but in reality, they're really not that large of a creature. I, heck, I think the largest flying bird is around 15 pounds, maybe 20 pounds, and that is the absolute max. Okay, um, yeah, you have your turkeys and your ostriches and stuff like that, but these are walking birds. These are land birds, and, and they tend to be much larger, but they don't fly. So keep, keep in mind scale. And what I'm saying about that is, and unfortunately you can't really see my foreground here, and also this is going to be true of the background, but the foreground, you're going to need to make sure you like your grasses and your bushes and so forth. Keep in mind that the bird, it really is not that large, okay? Even that true with, with the background. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to mute these colors down. And so they, they, they feel like they're further and further and further away. Also, I've got my horizon going on here, okay? Objects above the horizon are further away. Objects below the horizon are closer up. Just look at the ocean sometime if you have a chance to. Stand out there on the beach. Birds that are below that horizon are going to be a lot closer to you. Anything further up is going to be further away, like an island off in the distance, if it's above that horizon, it's a lot further away. So just, just something to keep in mind, okay? Um, here's another thing. I'm going with some blue tones here. Um, you must have contrast. The water here is a lighter blue, and the bird itself is going to be a darker blue, and that will separate the colors, okay? That will give it a three-dimensional feel. And another thing, the, the wing here that is further away, since it's further, you know, or I should say flatter, okay, it's going to capture the sunlight, which is here. This wing, which is up further from us. So you've got this thing going on like this. This is going to be more in shadow. But at the same time, okay, I am going to create, I'm going to try to get this blue darker as it gets towards the body and just slightly lighter as it's further away. And what that does is that allows the mind to perceive that you have, you know, some sort of curvature to it. Because rarely is a wing just straight up. And especially when you're talking about an animal or a creature like a bird, it's got curvature to it, okay? So that's just something to, uh, to bear in mind. And on that, my God, that was complicated, wasn't it? Ooh, got to drink some more of this beer. Mm, 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 mm. Man, that's damn fine. Good, 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 good. Okay, back to the sun a little bit. I've got these larger squares going on. And what I'm using here is I'm going with smaller squares just to give it a feel of light and distance and just contrast to what's going on here. As you know, I start out with acrylic and then I move to oil. I remember the, the cardinal rule.
curl it first, oil later. You cannot mix wet acrylic with wet oil. It doesn't work. I mean, they're two different formulas. It's the same thing as oil and water does not mix, which is the same principle because acrylic is water-based. Oil is obviously oil-based. But now, which is interesting about acrylic, light latex, which is just simply uh, the well, hardware version of uh, acrylic paint, is once it dries, though, it's, it's, it's a plastic. It's, it, and so therefore, oil can adhere to it once it's dry. Luckily, acrylic dries really quickly, and that's what some people don't like about it, is the fact that it does dry so quickly. But I would recommend, if you're just starting out painting, to start out with acrylic, because that gives you the basic feels of color, and also the less frustration, because it's easier to clean up, less smell, and, uh, and if you have a mistake or something, heck, you can just paint right over it, so it's no big deal. Okay, and I'm going to shut up on that. I'm going to work on the reflection of this bird a little more because I'm frankly not totally satisfied with it. Um, it's, I don't want a total mirror image going on here, but I do want some detail going on here just to give that feel that the bird is not that far above the surface of the water. Okay, let's work on that just so ever so. And when I use, the, I use this paintbrush here, it's kind of like a ruler, okay? And I do that, and that will give us a, about where, where things should be, okay? Working on that, on that. And that thing is more sprayed down, and then suddenly it goes like that. It moves off in an angle. And you want to try to capture that just ever so slightly. Notice how the, the, the wing kind of bows here. So we're going to try to do the same down here. There's another little trick, but I don't do it. But there is a trick. You can actually flip your canvas upside down. And uh, you'll be amazed how, what happens with your brain. It will conceive it in a whole different way. And sometimes that is a, a, a little bit of a trick on uh, finding mistakes that you've made. Because suddenly the brain is looking at it. Totally different. Just an idea. Just an idea. But in this case, we're just not going to do that. It has these legs. And a crane, when it flies, the legs stick out straight out. And it makes it more aerodynamic. It's quite amazing to watch. Just, just let me know. Just that there. Work at it. Just ever so slightly. Unfortunately, I only have so much time with a YouTube platform. Otherwise, yeah, we're all a bunch of impatient people. We have a tendency to click on any, uh, something, something else anyway. So on that note, I'm just going to work on this ever so slightly. Create a little bit of movement. We'll talk about water movement in the next one. Okay? So... Talk to you later. I'm going to swip myself a little more beer. Mm. That's good. Get yourself a good quality beer. Good microbrew. There's a good microbrew around here in the Portland area. Just letting you know. Good quality wine. Mix yourself a cocktail or any cases of you kids that are under 21. Get yourself a soda pop. So and Enjoy painting. Art is to be enjoyed. To be both painted and if you're in the process of purchasing artwork, buy what you like. And that's what I always say. So talk to you later. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.